Break in a master cleanse with Brazilian Cubenzes and Salvia Divinora. Note, below you will find a 2006 trip report that I had available on one of my previous sites. It belongs here as well. The piece is also available on Earwit and the Shroomery and was also posted on my Blogspot page in 2013. Purpose. The procedure for this exercise was to fast and cleanse the body for three days and then break the fast with Brazilian Cubenzes and dried Salvia Divinorum leaf. The objective was to amplify the psychedelic experience through the fast and by combining both psychoactive entities. Brief introduction. I was first introduced to Salvia Divinorum in the spring of 2000 and entered her realm with my second session falling in love immediately. From that moment on, I dedicated my life to her teachings and consumed her on a daily basis for over a year. I, it took me an additional two years to be able to process the information from that period. Two of the main lessons that I learned from that time, which are relevant for understanding this journey are, first, to truly know Salvia is to understand the power and knowledge that comes from brewing and drinking the tea. Second, is that fear is a self-manifestation and is as powerful as we choose it to be. The intensity of salvia can be summed up in the following phrase. There are times in our, in our journey through this existence when certain events change your life forever and set us on paths that we could never have imagined. Salvia takes all those moments and makes them seem completely irrelevant. The master cleanse. The master cleanse is a fast in which only a lemonade drink is consumed while a tea, sea salt flush is conducted as a morning ritual to purge the body. The drink is made from great bee maple syrup, fresh squeezed lemon juice, cayenne pepper, peppers, and distilled water. The cleanse is usually done for a minimum of three to a maximum of 40 days. Three of the main lessons that I've learned from the cleanse are that we consume much more food than what our body requires. That once the body is starved, it becomes efficient at absorbing everything that we consume. And that food is energy in the form of matter. Brazilian Cubenzis. I was able to obtain a few grams of of a recent crop harvested and dried within the previous month. I weighed up two, three gram batches just in case I needed to trip the trip to be more intense. I would eat the second batch, but I was only going to initially start with three grams. My experience with ma magic mushrooms ranges from consuming low doses for amplification of daily activities to a maximum dosage of seven grams for personal journeys. Salvia Divinorum. My salvia supply comes from Oaxaca, Mexico. My continual exposure to salvia over the last few years has allowed me to become receptive to the dried leaf. Hence, no extract was used during this exercise. 42 grams, 1.5 ounces of dried salvia were used with 10 cups of water to produce six cups of concentrated tea. The water was brought to a boil for 20 minutes and then put on simmer for an additional hour, hour and 40 minutes for a total brewing time of two hours. Only half a cup was consumed during this journey. In addition, dried leaf was rolled into two joints and a glass bong was used with one bowl of dried leaf. Materials and supplies. An apple was peeled and cut into wedges to be eaten with the mushrooms. Additional fruit and some dates were laid out. Two salvia joints and two marijuana joints rolled. A glass water bong, blazer micro torch, three cups of salvia tea, master cleanse lemonade, water, two three gram piles of Brazilian cubenzies, journal with pen, and additional dried salvia leaf were placed on a floor table for easy access during the trip. Candles were lit and all lights turned off. Procedure. 
It was now exactly three days since I had last eaten. I put on some music and drank some salvia tea, making sure to whoosh the tea in my mouth, allowing her to be absorbed into my system. I ate three grams of the Brazilian Cubenzis with some peeled apple wedges. It was 9 p.m. on May 17, 2006, approximately one hour before complete darkness. The experience the experience the following is what i was able to enter into the computer at approximately 2 30 a.m 5.5 hours after consuming the mushrooms the only editing done to the right write up at uh, write up are corrections to spelling mistakes and the addition of a few words and punctuations to assure coherency i was able i was also able to document this journey in 12.5 pages of my journal almost immediately after returning those pages will be provided at a later date what i wrote in the journal was not reviewed while writing this article the following is the raw version of what i was able to recall and explain in continuous writing mode from 2 30 a.m until approximately 3 15 a.m Had to get some rest went to bed got up restless and fidgety extremely tired but can't sleep i want morning to come i i want dawn to come but i know it's hours away was trying to go through what happened in my head so that i could write it down extremely tired starting this at around 2 30 a.m i put on some ben harper since i'm going to see him soon I figured it would be good to spend some time with him before the mushrooms kick in. I also queued up some Klaus Schultz just in case I felt like like music later. I took a few sips from the salvia tea, wished it around my mouth, then swallowed. Wanted the salvia presence in in me first. Wanted to break my fast with salvia. Then I ate three grams of Brazilian Cubenzis with a couple of wedges of peeled apples, then drank a little of the master cleanse drink and a little water. I wrote in my journal a little bit, documenting what I was doing. I stretched a little and walked around getting things ready. I was more fidgety than anything, just waiting. I knew this was going to be intense, or at least I was going to make it as intense as I could, trying to test my limits for now thought I was pretty ready or as ready as I could be initially I felt salvia initially I felt the salvia realm creeping in slowly the way only the tea can do then I felt the mushrooms very gentle rise with the shrooms shroom yawn indicating a faster pace to come I decided I needed to be completely alone so I turned off both my computers locked my door turned off the stereo and took and two of the candles the other two candles i put in red candle holders to reduce the light the shrooms were starting to kick in harder now so i took a few more sips of salvia and laid back it was beautiful the images were coming in fast and clear with every with everything connecting the visuals are better than any dream any movie and piece of art or music or equation that i have ever seen or heard of and it all makes sense i would take a break from the visuals every few minutes i write a little in my journal and take a few sips of salvia about one and a half hours after taking the mushrooms i decided that i needed a little more than tea so i started to smoke a salvia joint i took a few puffs and enjoyed every inhale she was inviting me and saying hello again she knew I was also taking mushrooms and wanted to play harder. I was hesitant. It was not really my intention to hit the bong tonight. I wanted to enjoy the tea and a little gentle smoke, something I had set up. Uh, however, I had set up the bong just in case. She continued to call me for a full encounter while, while I took a few more puffs from the joint. I realized that I had no choice. I wanted an intense experience and she was telling me that the bong was the only way. 
So I loaded it up and took a couple of small drags. Beautiful. I could feel her coming on slowly. So I took another small hit and waited. The tingling was there. The depth of the material surrounding was surrounding me was changing. But she wanted to me she wanted me to push it further. So I took the torch and hit the bong hard. Took one huge inhale as deep as I could and let it out slowly. Yep, she was coming in hard. The bowl was still lit, so I took the torch and hit it as hard as I could and took her in as deep as I could. I set the bong down and slowly let out the smoke. I knew it was about to go where I wanted to go and she was calling me. I laid down and rolled over to my left shoulder and turned my back to the candle and the bong. I was seeking darkness. I didn't even want the external stimulus of the candlelight to interfere. She was hitting me hard and like a child, I turned and looked at the bong over my sh right shoulder and in my mind asked her if this is what she wanted. She seemed happy and I was starting to worry that I might have pushed a little too hard, but there was no way of turning back now. So I turned around again and went for it. The boundary came in my chest. It was intense. It was just a touch, but it blew me away. She absorbed my chest and went towards my stomach and consumed my neck. The front part of my torso was now immersed. The visuals were just patterns at first, and then slowly a realm started to form. Initially, it looked like a carpet, but then I realized it was a landscape. I was looking over a field of field thousands of feet above the ground. She wanted me to dive in, to let go, to begin to feel terror. I began to feel terrified. My mind was working clearly and I knew what I needed to do to set my mind at ease. So I opened my eyes for a fraction of a second and realized I was okay. Time to go back. So I closed my eyes before I drifted to another realm. The realm was still there and the boundary exactly where it was before. I didn't interrupt it. Good. The, bound, the boundary pushed further. I felt my stomach adjust. There was an actual physical occurrence, not in the mind. My stomach adjusted when it immersed further into the realm, hundreds of feet in the air, or so it appeared. I got scared again and wanted to move, but didn't. The head immersed into the realm. The boundary was now at my third eye and all the way to my lower stomach. The front part of my torso and my arms were now in the realm. I could feel the wind on my face. I had to let go if I want to play, but I got scared. I moved just to make sure I was still okay. Something changed. Salvia didn't like it. I shouldn't have moved. I showed her fear and fear she hates. She taught me a long time ago not to fear. That fear was all in the mind and part of the training, part of the brainwashing, but I had forgotten. The fast had in intensified the experience beyond what I recalled. I rolled over to my back and tried to go back, but it was too late. If she, if the material was what I was going to hold on to, then the material she would show me. The vision turned dark, went into a room that was lit with a dark green gray light. She pushed me, pushed me into a corner almost immediately. If a bird's eye was too much for me, then she was going to show me a dark corner. I knew I made a mistake when I moved, but I had no choice now. I had to go. I kept my eyes closed and followed. From the corner, dirty red tentacles emerged, an alien of sorts, but it was more like entrails. It kept on coming out, of, out it kept on coming out, and I kept on going in. I was now surrounded and consumed by this hellish dark red tentacle world. There were mouths with spikes, spiked teeth, horn shaped, fighting with the tentacles for nothing. They were just pulsating and moving inside each other. I thought I was in hell. If there was a physical hell, then this would be it. Then it hit me. The fear decreased. 
that was it she was showing me the physical the material if this is what I wanted to hold on to then this is what it could be I realized that I was there I was here of my own doing so I tried to go through it I knew there was something beyond this slowly I could see past the creatures there was another round they started to fade she realized that it had been a while and I had forgotten I tried to work my way through while she pulled me closer but I was too exhausted I was too tired physically I was spent and mentally I was disappointed that I didn't let go when she called I opened my eyes and moved the salvia hit from the bomb was dissipating and I didn't have the energy to take another hit I knew that this was the max I could do tonight I was disappointed but also relieved now is what time now is now it was time to come down I was still extremely high but needed to ground so I reached for my uh, journal and started writing I have no idea how I was able to do this while being so high I guess compared to where I was a few moments ago this seemed pretty normal and functional funny how things are so relative I wrote over 12 pages of my journal explaining the journey as best as I could under the circumstances over the next hour i lit another candle turned on a red light turned on one of the computers put on music and slowly came back while writing and thinking and tried to figure where i went wrong and where i didn't let, why i didn't let go i realized that i didn't go wrong it was the way it was meant to be i had to remember how intense she was and where i wanted to go with this had to remember that this is about total commitment and understand that there is no turning back when she calls it is impossible to have one foot in the material world and one foot in her realm and understand her completely guess that's why i felt fell in love with her in the first place and wow is she ever intense i had totally forgotten that she had shattered all my fears before by making them seem so childish I had forgotten what true fear was she can truly amplify whatever she wants and if it's fear that we have then fear she shows the problem or the beauty however however way you want to look at it is that she can take us behind or take us beyond our wildest dreams beyond what we could possibly imagine so in essence making our fears seem childish simply beautiful summary the experience was beyond what i expected it had been approximately two years since i had even come close to reaching this level i had forgotten how intense the journey becomes and how fragile the boundary is during the transition period any hesitation in the trip can turn on you and take you to a completely different realm the fear i felt shook me to my core which could be what i needed I was not only seeing the creatures but also feeling and breathing them i was immersed in them part of them i should have shown more respect and not allowed my ego to try to maintain control i should have trusted next time i will try and get a sir this should set my mind at ease so i don't have as much holding me back to the material world additional notes one i started experimenting with salvia tea after the first three months of my introduction to salvia in my research during this period i came across a few articles that mentioned how inefficient the shaman were in their rituals when using salvia which i thought was quite ignorant of our western mentality most of these articles would then expand on the use of potent extracts and tinctures for amplifying the salvia experience that's when I began to make my own extracts and realize that I was taking something that nature had provided and adding toxic chemicals to make it more potent, which really didn't make sense. The final straw was when I read, when I reread D.M. Turner's Salvin, Salvinorin, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum. In this book, he stated that pure, pure Salvadoran A was too powerful which gave me warning signs 
I realized that the purifying process was probably taking away essential information. That's when I started introducing salvia tea into my rituals and slowly began to include the tea in my mushroom journeys. The experience and information elevated salvia to levels that I had not expected, in essence, amplifying both realms. 2. This was my second time doing a three day master cleanse. The first time I the first time the experience seemed more intense, which could have been due to the fact that during that period my body was much more toxic. The first time I broke the fast at a Middle Eastern restaurant eating hummus, kebabs, and a number of other tapa dishes while drinking double beautifuls, Grand Marnier and Cognac. I was going to break the fast slowly, but I found the sensation of food, the alcohol, and the sugar absorbing into my system and pumping through my veins simply amazing and thus ended up consuming to a dizzying level. This experience is the reason why I decided to do to do the master cleanse this time and break it with mushroom with a mushroom trip amplified with salvia. I knew it was going to be extremely intense if I did it right. Three. Two years ago, I was informed through salvia and mushroom journeys that I needed to become physically more fit to be able to continue with my experiments and go beyond my experiences, pushing past certain boundaries. Taking the advice to heart, I have been in extensive training mode for the last year and have built up my strength as well as my cardio. The most important thing that I have done physically and mentally is improve my balance allowing me to feel comfortable in letting go of my, my letting go of my material world or so i thought chicho may 2006